Swami removed his hand. I saw on my palm a glittering gold coin. He looked at me angrily and walk up, walked up to me. Even as I was gradually realizing who Bhagwan could be, Bhagwan granted me a very powerful experience that demonstrated who he was. And that happened almost close to, close to 20 years ago, during March 1999, exactly 20 years back. I, was, I had the opportunity of standing inside Thrai compound as I was part of the AV and the maintenance group of students. And that evening, Bhagwan, as he stepped out for darshan, he slowly, gracefully walked down the stairs and came, walked along the carpet towards us, towards this door in order to come into Saramesh Hall for bhajans. And I was standing near the carpet. And even as Swami was walking down the carpet, he took a deviation and then went towards the Tulsi Brindavan that is there near the gate. He went there, plucked a Tulsi leaf from there, looked at me and asked, do you want this? I realized that it's a very precious boon to receive Tulsi from the Lord. Immediately I rushed, knelt before Swami and I opened my mouth hoping that he would put the tulsi leaf into my mouth. But then Swami said, no, show me your hand. So then I stretched my hand and then Swami placed the tulsi leaf on my palm. Even as he placed the tulsi leaf on my palm, I sensed that it was not, it didn't feel like tulsi leaf. And then as Swami removed his hand, I saw on my palm a glittering gold coin. I was stunned. And Swami smiled and told me, this gold coin has the year of your birth written on it. Keep this coin safely and don't show it to anyone. I immediately put the coin into my pocket and knelt before Swami and took Namaskar and Swami then proceeded into Sai Ramesh Hall for the bhajans. As bhajans were going on, I could not contain my curiosity and so what I did, I went to a secluded corner of Trai compound, made sure that no one was around and then fished out the gold coins from my pocket and started adoring it and admiring it. As Swami had mentioned, it had the year of my birth inscribed on one side and there was a portrait of a man just above that. And on the other side of the coin, there was a portrait of a knight seated, mounted on a horse, something close to the Kalki avatar that we often think of. After having admired the coin to my heart's content, I then took a tissue paper from my pocket, wrapped the coin safely in it, and then put it back into my trouser pocket, and came back and stood in my place. And in every few seconds, my hands would go unconsciously and feel if the coin was safe there, and then I was happy, yes, good. Meanwhile, Swami had signaled for Aarti, and then as Aarti song was being sung, Swami stepped back into Thai compound. And as soon as he came there, he looked at me angrily and walk up, walked up to me. I was puzzled. Because even just a few minutes earlier, he had given me this beautiful gift of a gold coin. But now he was looking angry and upset at me. Swami came directly to me and asked, Hey, Nenen Chapan Niku. Every Chupit Jodan Chapana, 
కానీ నేను ఇచ్చేటప్పుడు అందరూ చూశారు కదా వాడను టీచర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అందరూ ఇచ్చాయి మరి ఈ టోల్ ఐ వాట్ డిడ్ ఐ టెల్ యూ ఐ టోల్ యూ నాట్ టు షో ద కాయిన్ టు ఎనీబడి బట్ ఈవెన్ యాజ్ ఐ వాజ్ గివింగ్ ఇట్ ది వార్డ్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద టీచర్స్ హవ్ ఆల్రెడీ సీన్ ఇట్ నవ్ రిటర్న్ ద కాయిన్ టు మీ ఐ వాజ్ క్రెస్ట్ ఫాలన్ బట్ దెన్ ఇట్ వాజ్ స్వామీస్ ఆర్డర్ అండ్ దేర్ ఫోర్ ఐ టుక్ అవుట్ ది టిష్యూ పేపర్ ఫ్రమ్ మై ట్రౌజర్ పాకెట్ ఓపెన్ డెట్ రిలెక్టెంట్లీ అండ్ యాజ్ యాజ్ ఐ వాజ్ అబౌట్ టు హ్యాండ్ ఓవర్ ద కాయిన్ టు స్వామి ఐ రియలైజ్డ్ దర్ వాజ్ నో కాయిన్ ఇన్ దట్ అండ్ యాజ్ ఐ ఐ వాజ్ లుకింగ్ అట్ ఇట్ ద కాయిన్ హ్యాడ్ గాన్ అండ్ ఇన్ ఇట్స్ ప్లేస్ దర్ వాజ్ అ తులసి లీఫ్ ఐ వాజ్ టండ్ ఐ డోంట్ నో వాట్ వాజ్ హ్యాపనింగ్ just a few seconds back i had felt the coin was there secure in my trouser pocket and then it had suddenly disappeared i then looked at the uh, tulsi leaf in my palm and looked at swami's face not knowing what to say and then swami told hmm tinu and he walked towards the trai door i then put the tulsi leaf into my mouth and i was still kneeling down trying to figure out what was happening swami walked a few steps ahead then turned towards me and told ayyo paapam and he waved his hand and created the same gold coin and called me and gave it to me i was thrilled and even as he was giving it back to me he was smiling and he told don't show it to anybody keep it safely and for sure after that day even today i feel hesitant to look at the coin just in case it disappears back to where it ever it came from and then a few days later in the interview room here swami asked for the coin blew it blew on it four times made it four times bigger and they gave it back to me and told it keep it safely so this incident struck very deep roots within me because it demonstrated to me who bhagwan was looking back i realized that bhagwan had showed me exactly the same thing he created the gold coin from the tulsi leaf and i had the fortune of keeping it with me for a few minutes and then it went back to its source from wherever it came and yet again after a few minutes bhagwan rematerialized the same coin and gave it to me that's when i realized that bhagwan was god generator organizer and destroyer the embodiment of brahma vishnu and maheshwara and that's what planted the faith in my heart that bhagwan was the sarvadevata atita swarupa